All right, sweet. So this is my first video on my GoPro. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna talk about the bait caster and just casting in general. I'll back up a little bit. So, uh, give me just a sec. All right, so when you're casting on your bait caster, a lot of people uh, tend to do like a sidearm cast starting out. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? There's nothing wrong with a sidearm cast, but you wanna be able to do an overhead cast um, because you can cast further that way. And I'll just demonstrate an overhead cast right now. So, uh, yeah. I didn't throw it real far, but now obviously like the problem some people have with an overhead cast is their bird's nest, right? So my settings are pretty loose. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I'll put it in front of the camera. See how fast it drops? They're pretty loose. I don't bird's nest. So you don't need now obviously if I if I let that spool out and hit the ground I would bird's nest but you don't want it to hit the ground you want to you want to put your thumb on it before it hits the ground so let's just do a couple casts but yeah the main thing to remember when doing an overhead cast is most people cast with their right arm anyways so you hit the hit the uh, hit the button put your thumb on the line you want about a foot so about a foot of uh of uh of leader when you're casting not a leader just like a foot of uh of length from your uh from the tip of your rod to your bait i like to have a foot obviously if you're casting somewhere where you can't cast very far you want to look like really short like this, you know, that way you don't get hung up on anything and you can just kind of flick it in there. But for an overhead cast, we want about that much. So I'll just do it a couple more times. Now some people, now depending on how far you want to cast, right, some people will go back, like, you'll go back really far, and that's just, that's just if you want to cast, like, really, really far. If you're not casting that far, you just, you can choke up on it, right? So you could just come here and just toss it like that, and that goes, like, 10 foot, you know, 10, 15 foot. But the main thing to remember when you're, when you're casting, right, in any direction, you know, left-handed right-handed overhead sidearm is uh keeping your thumb on the line and make it one fluid moment like you don't want to have like a jerky kind of cast like you don't want to just like jerk you know you want it to be fluid right you want it to be a fluid motion but uh man anyways that's how the overhead cast you know it's really nothing to it you just get out there and practice Anybody can do it. The more comfortable you get with your rod, the better you'll get at it. See you guys next time.